today we're going to be filming my Lazy Shell Scarf Shawl. For this pattern you're going to need a number two fine yarn. For my original piece I used Ice Yarns Joy Color Supreme, which is available in my yarn shop, dearestdebbyyarn.com. And you're also going to need a US G6 4.00 millimeter hook. Getting started on our first row of work, start with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. The first chain's our foundation. Well, the next three chains are our first double crochet. Now we want to work four double crochets in our beginning chain. So there's one. Two. three, and then four. So that's a total of five double crochets for your beginning row. Getting started on row two of our work, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet in chain one. Now we're going to double crochet in that same double crochet, the first one here. We're going to work a double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip one double crochet and then we're going to do a single crochet V stitch in the next double crochet. To do a single crochet V stitch, work a single crochet, chain one, and then work a single crochet in that same double crochet. Chain two, one, two. Skip the next double crochet. Working in your last, we're going to work a double crochet V stitch. To do that, we'll do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that same stitch. That completes the second round row of work. Getting started on row three of our work, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn your work. Now that chain six that we just work is going to count as our beginning triple crochet and chain two. Now we're going to shell stitch in our chain one space right here in between our two double crochets we're going to work a shell to work a shell yarn over insert your hook into the chain one space yarn over draw up a loop you want to kind of pull it up so they're about a half an inch long and we're going to do that two more times yarn over insert your hook into that same chain one space yarn over draw up a loop and one more time yarn over Insert your hook into that same chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop. So you can see here, I'm not pulling tightly. I'm leaving them a little loose to create our puff. Now we're going to yarn over and draw up through all the loops on your hook. That's our first puff stitch. We're working on a shell. Now we were going to chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work another puff stitch in that same chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain one space, yarn over, and draw up a loop. So you should have two, four, six, seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and drop through all the loops on your hook. That's the second puff stitch, still working on our shell. Chain two, one, two, and then work another puff stitch in that same chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, 
insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook now, you can yarn over and draw it through all the loops on your hook. That's our first shell. Now we can chain two. One, two. In that single crochet V stitch, we're going to work a single crochet. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work a shell stitch in our next chain one space in between our two double crochets here. So we're going to work a puff. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through all seven loops on your hook. Now we're working on a shell, so we'll chain two, one, two. Working another puff, yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Working one more puff stitch in that same chain one space, so yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up loop. Do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw up through all seven loops on your hook. Now chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work a triple crochet in our last double crochet. There's our triple crochet. And then that completes this row of work. Getting started on row four of our work, chain one, turn your work. Now we're going to work a single crochet V stitch in our beginning triple crochet. Work a single crochet in that triple crochet. Chain one, work a single crochet in that same triple crochet. Chain two, one, two. Skip your next chain two space. Working in the next chain two space, this is the chain two space between your puff stitches, work a double crochet. Chain one, work a double crochet in your next chain two space. Chain two, one, two. Now in the, your next chain two space, work a single crochet. Chain one, work a single crochet in your next chain two space. Chain two, one, two. Work a double crochet in your next chain two space. There's our double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work, we're going to skip the last chain two space. We're going to work a single crochet in our triple crochet. These are all chains, so you actually want to work in your fourth chain. One, two, three, four in this one. Work a single crochet V stitch. So work a single crochet. Chain one. Work a single crochet in that same stitch. That completes row four of our work. Getting started on row five of our work, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Now turn your work. That chain six is going to count as our beginning triple crochet and chain two. Now we're going to shell in our, in our beginning chain one space here in our V-stitch, single crochet V-stitch, we're going to work a, a shell. To work a shell, work a puff stitch first. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Remember you want these to be loose. Tight, tightening them won't work. Yarn, and now we're going to do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You should now have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook. Still working on our shell, chain two, one, two. Work a puff stitch in that same chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work another puff stitch in that same chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, same chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook. That completes our shell. Now I'm going to show you the repeat for this row. To get started on our repeat, this will come in handy when you're working the piece larger. Getting started on our repeat, we're going to chain two, one, two. Now we're going to single crochet in our chain one space, skipping over this chain two, skipping over the double crochet. There's a chain one space between your two double crochets here. We're going to work a single crochet in there. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work a shell in our next chain one space. So we're skipping the chain two, skipping the single crochet, and we're going to work a shell in that chain one space. To work a shell, work a puff stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, Insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through all seven loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Continuing on our shell, work another puff stitch in that same chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Two more times, yarn over. Insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all seven loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Work another puff stitch in that same chain one space. There we go, yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. That completes the shell stitch. That's our first repeat. I'll show you the repeat again. Chain two, one, two. Single crochet in your next chain one space. So we're skipping over this chain two, skipping over the double crochet, working a single crochet in that chain one space. Chain two, one, Two. Now we're going to work a shell in our chain one, next chain one space. So we're going to skip this chain two, skip the single crochet. Working in the chain one space, we're going to work a shell. To work a shell, work a puff stitch. Oh, I snagged my yarn there and it didn't work. There we go. Two. 
three. I usually count to three because you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop three times. And when you have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Work another puff stitch in that same chain one space. There we go. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work a puff stitch in that same chain one space. That completes the shell. Now to finish the round, when you're done, you're going to have one last single crochet left. Chain two, one, two, and work a triple crochet in that last single crochet. There we go, that completes this row of work. Getting started on row six of our work, chain one and then turn your work. We're going to work a single crochet V stitch in our beginning triple crochet. To do that work a single crochet in your triple crochet, chain one and then work a single crochet in that same stitch. Chain two, one, two. We're going to skip this chain two space Working in the next chain two space, the one that's between your two puffs, work a double crochet. Chain one, work a double crochet in the next chain two space between your two puffs. Now I'm going to show you the repeat for this round. To start your repeat, chain two, one, two, Work a single crochet in your next chain two space. Chain one. Work a single crochet in the next chain two space. Chain two, one, two. Work a double crochet in your next chain two space. It should be between the two puffs. Chain one. Work a double crochet in the next chain two space, should be between the next two puffs. There's our double crochet. That's our first repeat. I'll show you the repeat again. Chain two, one, two. Work a single crochet in your next chain two space. Chain one. Work a single crochet in the next chain two space. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work a double crochet in our next chain two space between our two puffs. There's our double crochet. Chain one, work a double crochet in the next chain two space between your next two puffs. That's the second repeat. When you get to the end of the round, you'll have your last chain two space and your last triple crochet here. They're all chains that we worked. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then in your last triple crochet, so the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, we're going to work a single crochet V stitch. So work a single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet in that same triple crochet. That completes row six of our work. If you continue repeating rows five and six, you can add more length to make a scarf or a shawl.